One of the biggest questions that we get that people, frankly, just want a silver bullet for is how do I invest in my employees? That's a good question. We'll talk about that. By the way, head on over to mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy, and you'll have access to a powerful business owner healthy assessment. It takes less than seven minutes, and it'll help you diagnose the health and numerical value of your business. So go check that out, mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy. Jesse, who has been the longest serving member at Business on Purpose, uh, and she started with us almost from the beginning, she was sitting quietly, staring just off to my left. We were in the middle of a very familiar time. It was our formal weekly check-in. It's a prescribed 20-minute or so time where we stop what we're doing, and I ask four familiar questions of Jesse, and I do this with our other team members as well. And at the end of that time, I make a statement. I had just asked the fourth question, what do you need from me? And Jesse thought for an unusually long time before saying anything. Then she said this, The second half of our mission is making time for what matters most. I feel like we do that with conversations just like these. So we chatted a little bit more about that. I was encouraged. And uh, we chatted about the challenge of owners investing in their team and the return that they should expect. She said, I'm a team member and I feel like I'm being invested in. What's the return that I should expect and what's the return that the business should expect? Not, Not monetary, but just in terms of Uh, the overall business. What really caught our conversation was a reality that most owners likely don't have a targeted plan of team investment outside of maybe a couple of special events per year and maybe some last minute bonus items around the holidays or something like that. So we asked ourselves while we were sitting there, how do owners invest in their employees? In short, it's likely the total opposite of what you might think. The beanbag chairs, the free food, the team building, the ping pong tables, those are commodities. That's right. Those are commodities and they're meaningless without the true investment of at least these four items, which as Jesse and I were talking about, we sort of bubbled up with time, attention, repetition, implementation, time, attention, repetition, and implementation. First, your time is a non-renewable resource, which strikes at its value, by the way. The time I'm spending, for instance, speaking this is time that I will not get back. So I have to determine if it's worth the time for me to actually speak this. Our mission is to liberate business owners from chaos to make time for what matters most. I believe that what I'm saying right now will help liberate you from chaos. Therefore, I believe it's a good investment of time. Unfortunately, we often give our time to things that are time wasters. The easiest way to determine the resourcefulness of your time is not necessarily looking at a checklistable productivity, although I do love a checklist, but instead determining if the task you're working on is aligned with your mission. When you make time, notice that word, make time to spend with or for your team and their growth towards the vision and mission of the business, that is time well spent. So what if you did this? What if you did a mental audit of last week? How much time did you actively, not passively, actively, proactively invest in your team? Second, your attention is another non-renewable resource. Attention is bound directly to time. It is quite possible to spend time with an employee and yet your attention is elsewhere. In order to fully give your attention to something, it's helpful to have mapped out what you wish to accomplish while with that person, that place, or that thing. Obviously, you can overschedule a relationship, but most of us, we're guilty of the opposite, having very little purpose for that engagement of our team. The best simplest and easiest tool to put in place to aid with the attention is to simply write a basic agenda for your time. How long? What will be discussed? What's the follow-up? That's what we do with our check-ins. The check-in I just uh, referenced earlier on follows a very basic outline, and each of our team members know exactly what I'm going to ask and about how long it's going to take. Why? It's because we ask it every single week, or in some cases, every other week. That leads to the third element of investing in your employees. It's the element of repetition, repetition, repetition. Zig Ziglar said, repetition is the mother of learning, the father of action, which makes it the architect of accomplishment. I think you can just hear Zig Ziglar saying that now, can't you? 
I'll ask a business owner, hey, did you start doing your team meetings or your check-ins or your culture calendar or whatever? More times than I care to remember, the response is this. Yeah, we tried that once, but it didn't work. Actually, usually what I'll get is, we tried that, but it didn't work. They don't add the once. Even untalented actors get gigs. Why? Because they repeatedly continue to ask long after the rest of us gave up. Do you realize that? Sometimes we look around and we go, God, I could do that. Well, why are they doing that and you're not? It's because they repeatedly continue to ask long after you and I gave up. Listen, monster biceps come not from a long, extended eight-hour workout at the gym. Monster biceps come through long, extended eight-hour workouts, plural, at the gym, day after day after day. It may not be fun, but it's effective. Finally, Joe Calloway, one of my favorite quotes, vision without implementation is hallucination. I have a Monday checklist that I work through each Monday morning. In fact, it's on this screen right here. Some of the tasks on that Monday checklist directly impact our team members, small investments of time, attention, or repetition. But here's what I found about the Monday checklist. It does not pull itself up on my computer. It does not scream and yell at me for attention. The Monday checklist sits there lifelessly until I pull it up and until I use it. Business owners, we must implement the tools we have access to. In fact, all team members, we must implement the tools we have access to. There is no silver bullet, but there is time. There is attention. There is repetition if you wish to implement. These four things make the beanbag chairs, the ping pong tables, and the team building and the free food not a farce, but something of real value for your team. Again, go check out mybusinessonpurpose.com forward slash healthy for an updated health score on your business. And we'll see you next time right here on the Business on Purpose platform.